Our next presenter is Aaron Wise, and Aaron has given us the title From Complexity to the Clinic, Patient-Based Models of Time Series Gene Expression. In every cell of your body, you have 46 chromosomes containing 3 billion base pairs of information-carrying DNA. This DNA encodes 20,000 genes. These genes become proteins, and proteins do everything your cells need to function. What genes are active and at what times is controlled by 2,000 transcription factors through a process called gene expression regulation. In a system with this much complexity, many things can go wrong, and unfortunately, they often do. In some diseases, such as sickle cell anemia, and uh, Huntington's, a change in a single gene causes a single misfolded protein, and hence a well-characterized disease state. In other diseases, things are more complicated. For example, in cancer, the syndrome that we see is the result of hundreds of mutations acting in concert. Plus, genetics becomes genomics. In order to understand these diseases, we have to understand how the system has been perturbed as a whole. The eventual goal is the development of genomic medicine, drugs which can take this perturbed gene expression state and somehow recapture the normal state. My research fits into this in that I attempt to understand how the gene expression of diseased individuals differs from that of normal individuals. Here's how it works. Imagine that you're a patient, and you go to the doctor. And when you do, the doctor takes a blood sample. Using an experiment called a microarray, we can get a reading of all of the expression levels of the genes in your body. We do this for each patient every time he goes to the doctor. We should also do this for a whole cohort of patients with the same disease. Once we have this data, we can build mathematical models, say one model for a healthier group of patients, and one model for a sicker group of patients. And with, this, uh, with these models, we can actually figure out which genes are active in the disease, and hence which transcription factors are causing genes to be active. Once we've built these two models, we can look to see how they're different using statistical tests. Transcription factors that are active in one model, but not the other, might be interesting potentially as markers which can be used for diagnostics, or in the future as potential drug targets. In the moment, currently we are applying this technique to real human patient data, a set of patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is a lung disorder. Currently, our method is able to determine which patients are more healthy, as well as which patients are less healthy, and additionally, to identify transcription factors that might be uh, causative of this. As this research progresses, the hope is to take gene expression measurement and make it to a tool which can be used in the clinic, first for diagnostics and eventually for treatment. Thank you. <laughs>